of March continues from Madison. It's been a great tournament so far. A lot of close games. We're expecting another great battle. In Division Two. our first semifinal features Wisconsin Lutheran undefeated out of the Woodland West and Nicolay 24-4 out of the North Shore Conference. We welcome you courtside along with John Nadelkoff. I'm Nick Tabbert. Brett Hansen is our sideline reporter. Both these teams score 80 plus points a game. We are expecting a lot of action, a lot of up and down. Let's get right into our points of the game brought to you by Menards. As always, save big money at Menards on all of your home improvement needs. We begin with Wisconsin Lutheran and Mr. Basketball, Con Knippel. And he is Mr. Bass. He does it all. He sets the table. Bottom line, he has, he has a low heartbeat, high IQ, makes everybody else better, including low. Logan Rindfleisch, and bottom line is they have a high IQ team that can surgically knock it down. Nicolay, a little more balanced scoring, and they are very athletic. Oh, they get up in your grill on the defense end, on the defense end, and they bring it fast and furious on the on the offense end. It'll be an exciting game on who controls the tempo, but who can handle the handle the pressure at the same situation or same time. Both of these teams have won a gold ball. They know what it takes to get it done here on the big stage in Madison. We are going to meet the teams and get ready for some basketball. On the other side of this timeout, a message now from our statewide sponsors. This is your WIAA Network Station. Welcome back to Madison. National Anthem just finishing. All right, let's meet the teams for this Division II semifinal. And to do that, we hand things over to PA announcer Jim Strick. Now let's meet the teams for today's Division II semifinal between the Wisconsin Lutheran Vikings and the Nicolay Knights. First... Here are the Vikings from Wisconsin Lutheran. Number one, Grayson Young. Number two, Amos Ewing. Number three, Josiah Rice. Number 11, Nick Cross. Number 13, Malcolm Campbell. Number 14, Trey Robbie. Number 15, Kajer Knippel. Number 21, Ben Langbardos. And number 25, Wynn Hotchkiss. Let's meet the Knights from Nicolay. Number two, Noah Ojello. Number three, David Bolden. Number five, Maxwell Stolmacher. Number 10, Tyler Bender. Number 12, Jordan Lovelace. Number 14, Edward Bullock. Number 20, Carter Zudoff. Number 21, Dylan Rice. Number 24, Demarcus Chapel. At number 30, Shaman Davis. And now, here are today's starting lineups. First for Wisconsin Lutheran. At forward, a 6'3 junior, number zero, Alex Green. Starting at guard, a 6'1 junior, number four, Isaiah Mellon. At guard, a 6'5 senior, number 12, Logan Reinflesch. At guard, a 6'6", sophomore, number 23, Xavier Zenz. And at guard, a 6'6", senior, number 33, Khan Knippel. Wisconsin Lutheran is coached by Ryan Walls. And now today's starting lineup for the Nicolay Knights. And forward, a 6'4", senior, number 4, Nasir Beeman. At guard, a six-foot sophomore, number 11, Rashad Davis. At center, a six-seven senior, number 33, Matthew McKay. At guard, a six-two senior, number 15, Damon Landrum Jr. And at guard, a six-six junior, number 25, Davion Hannah. Nicolay is coached by Terrence Smith. Today's officials are Tyrone Nichols, Stephen Johnson, and Keith Vessel from Milwaukee.
starting lineups this afternoon brought to you by Construction Business Group and Destinations Career Academy, preparing students for a rewarding career as a Wisconsin operating engineer. Division II state semifinals. Nicolay and Wisconsin Lutheran get us started with Salem and Pewaukee to follow. So glad you can spend some time here on this beautiful Friday in Madison with us. We just have a sense, Nick, this is going to start out with a bang. Both teams score 81 points per game. Con Knipple, Mr. Basketball, Duke commit, wears number 33. Yep. But everybody on the floor can score. Little Princeton action, which is a 2-1-2 two -two set with a lot of back screens, back cuts. But again, as you can see, Nicolay, the ball pressure, their DNA. Knipple, first shot, will fall. He's got everything in the bag. The biggest thing is he takes what the defense gives him. Averages 26 points per game, almost nine rebounds per game. Again, Nicolay didn't see a lot of man-to-man -man in the regular season, even in the tournament trail, other than maybe Homestead and one other team. Landrum, it falls. It's what he does. He shoots it extremely well. That's his job. That's his role. Nice shooter's bounce. And ball pressure in your grill. Little fade screen and into a UCLA cut, which means he's coming back to the ball. This is Green. Green does Knipple. a great job on handling the ball. He's got to make a lot of decisions, like a point forward. Knipple too strong on the take. Nice stock to move, couldn't finish. This is Hannah, leading score for Nicolay. Tapped out top, and Landrum controls. Both teams crash the boards hard. Davis too strong. Hannah has it. And now an open look up top, Landrum. Zenz clears. Both hit the boards hard, both transition well. One a little faster pace, the other one more precision. Lots of back screens and fade screens and reads. Open look in the lane, floater too short though. Again, Nicolay will play uno on uno defense. You gotta beat me, they're not always gonna give a ton of help. Nicolay resets. Little five out down screen ball screen. Little cross screen action, keeping the lane open. Beeman's first drive. That's what he's good at. 15 feet and in, very quick, very aggressive, physical. Expecting an up tempo, physical basketball game today. Again, as you can see, the ball gets entered to their five man green, and he plays up. He's almost like a point forward where he's making the plays. Great ball pressure. Another turnover, here come the Knights. Hannah, mid-range, short. Scores in bunches, can be cool for a while, but then he can light it up. Stop and pop on the other end is good for Rinflech. Ru they, they, they push it as well as anyway. It's more of a control flow, San Antonio Spur, old type style, but everybody gets down and beats their person down the court. In little cross screen action, possibly. McKay lost it, had to give it up. Davis, floater, yes. That's what he's known for. He's very good at attacking. Good level, good two level score, either hitting threes or hitting floaters in the lane. Again, as you see, it's a 2 1 2 set. There's different reads, there's no set calls. Khan is the one that kind of determines them where it's going. Khan is short on that try. Excellent post up and post feed, just couldn't finish. Wisconsin Lutheran's defense is much more position defense compared to Nicolay's. Good form, good balance. Three to four guys on ball side of the rim, making them skip it. Hanna. Hanna, they'll be pacey, he'll try to go one on one iso. There's that gap defense. Had it stripped away. Two on one chance. Mella. Sneaky athlete. Crafty. And it's a one point game. Again, the one thing about Wisconsin Lutheran, they get such a low pulse. They, they've seen it all. Probably one of the toughest schedules in all of high schools in the Midwest. And they've come out of it 28 and 0. Get our first foul of the game. Again, that was a good scout report. It wasn't quite there, but 
again, that's what Beeman does, likes to spin back to his right hand. Free throws after this timeout. A message from our statewide sponsors. This is your WIAA Network Station. Some great energy in the Cole Center this afternoon. Wisconsin Lutheran fans on their feet. This is a pretty full house. It's going to be a great day. Sunny out there. Sun we had a little Irish rain last night. So glad you can join us on TV, on your phone, on your laptop. Like to get the ball back to Hannah on an out of bounds place. Hannah, first team all conference, getting some looks from Wisconsin, Marquette, Michigan State. Used to be score first, then pass. It's kind of flipped. He's uh, become a very much more, he's developing into more of a three level score. Seeing the floor better. And that's a good witness, a good turn pass. Just the shot wasn't there for his teammate. That's Bolden just into the game. At the other end, the take won't go inside. McKay pushing. Here's Beeman. Their transition is much more hectic, fast paced. Beach just right to the rim. McKay going to work. Robbie playing some good defense. Nice wall up, chest up. Didn't go for the ball fake. Bolden Again, calls out a play, sorry. Position defense. In the gaps, are ready for the spin back. They'll give help. Try to wall it off or close the gate. Switched on the ball screen. Hannah able to save it. Beam in. Too strong. Again, not notice it, but it was just the help the helper that really made that pass difficult to be made. Here come the Vikings down one. Knipple. So quick. He's just got his way of using those shoulders, of broad shoulders in his body. Change of speeds. You don't have to be super quick, but you got to know spacing. He can weave through three or four defenders and make it look like nothing. In a little Iverson series over top the free throw line. Bring you high into a ball screen. Hannah. Yes. For three. Beautiful, though. Even off of not a great bounce, but re uh, regrouped himself. Got a nice looking stroke. He can score from anywhere on the court. Again, like to enter it at the high post and come off handoffs, seal backs, little ISO. Nothing uncommon for Khan to be in the post. Creating some space. For Rindfleisch, now it's Young who's just into the game. Again, a guy that got hurt, didn't get to see a lot of action, a very good player. He's really made it back the last game. He had a really solid sectional. Wisconsin Lutheran here at State for the fourth time. 2009 and 2014, won it all. Sprint into a ball screen out of a 1-4 set. Like the balance, Steve, though. I'm going to get a walk on Davis. Again, when it comes down to it, Rindfleisch basically did a nice job just staying in the stands, veering him off. Turnover is not a huge concern the way these teams get up and down the floor so much. No, both teams accept it, especially Nicolay. They know a more frantic havoc pace is going to be that. But they assume it's going to go the other way as well. But again, constant pressure, annoyance. And that's Beeman right there, number four, applying it to Con Knipple. He's probably the best at it. Pass inside, Melloc able to save it, but it's a turnover. Again, Bolden there to really be a havoc on the, on the passing lane. Bolden sets a screen, Hannah goes to work. Bender, number 10, into the game. Ooh. Oh, our camera guy oh. gets hit. Oh, no. He took the, he took the charge on that one. <laughs> I think he's okay. We're going to give him a second to collect himself. <laughs> Fred Hillman, our stats guy, says he was open. Time out on the floor. A message from your local station. This is your WIA network station. Welcome back to Madison. We have an outstanding crew for this tournament every year. Nick on the baseline. He was open. Bingo. <laughs> he took one for the team. Again, Beeman just relentless with Khan, steady. Got that white body sealing him away. Here comes Green. Eddie player, smart. 
Zenz gives it back. Again, you're able to run cuts off that then with him at the middle. The freak the lane. Knipple going to the line to shoot two. Beeman called for the foul. Yeah, and Coach Waltz talked about we had to become different this year. We had to change who we were. All the years we were successful, even win in the state championship. They went to the Princeton offense. Little different spacing because the different type of players they got. They really have adjusted extremely well. Knipple, 85% free throw shooter. I don't know if there's anything in the you could say he doesn't do it. It's just, it's amazing how this young man keeps everything in perspective and just waits and sees what's at, what's out there in front of him and then decides what to do. Wisconsin Lutheran grabs the lead, 12 to 10, thanks to an 8-3 run over the last four minutes, let's call it. Little handoff series, weave series into a ball screen or an Iverson cut. Hannah up top. Good looking jump shot, might have leaned a little bit too far back. We talked about it this morning. It takes a little bit to adjust to the Cole Center dimensions, even at the D2 level where they score so many points. And take it right off the rim and bring it right back to the rim. Beeman, hard-working bucket. Rim to rim and two passes and a couple dribbles. Just like that. Tied at 12. We might be watching the lead change hands quite a bit here today. Coach said he might have Melich do a little bit of ball and take a little pressure off. Con at times, get it in a different angle. Kind of like moving your wide receiver around so you don't get stuck in the same spot every time. That's a great comparison. Again, look at the aggressiveness. And again, they're not giving a ton of help. It's Uno on Uno defense. Green able to score there. Again, nice, nice little Laker cutoff. Once Con had the ball, he dove to the basket. Good fundamental basketball. And Bolden and Hannah go to work on the other end. Again, they're, they're not saying they're in position in the sky, taking away gaps because they drive the ball so well. Good high hand close out, take away vision of Bolden hitting his three ball. Bolden, floater. Oh, that's a tough shot. That's a stop on a dime. Everybody on the court can fill up the stat sheet. Again, got five guys, all five guys, like you said, Nick, can all score. Very unselfish. And into a handoff series, but they like to bring Khan back to the post. He almost plays from inside out then. Khan leveraging. Won't fall this time. He's had a couple of generous rolls, not that time. Again, good wall up by by, by uh, Beeman. And a kick will stay at this end. The 2024 WIAA Basketball Championships are brought to you by the Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin. Reminding you to look for the proudly Wisconsin badge to know you're getting the best quality and supporting local dairy farms. Look to get a little screen, bring Hannah back to the top. Noah Ojello, number two, into the game for Nicolet. In a lot of ball screen action, a little face screen on the weak side to keep the defense occupied. Hannah fakes twice, now lets it go. Knipple no, the board. Noted the jab step quite a bit to try to create an open. Rindfleisch got behind the defense and he's gonna go to the line. Great find, it's like a quarterback just looking downfield for that long ball pass. You asked me if there's anything Knipple cannot do, we just checked the box for court vision. He just has such a great awareness of where his guys are around. And most of all, what the defense is allowing or not allowing. Red Fleisch going to UW Oshkosh. Going to join his older brothers, Riley and Jonah. He scored a career-high 24 points in the sectional final. Very aggressive young man. Had an attack mentality and offense. Second leading score. Shoots 72% from the free throw line. Substitution, Green going to check out as Robbie comes in. Both teams really going at their strengths, using their strengths and, and being pretty efficient with it, especially this early in the game. Little 1-4 low into a high series. It said bring that Iverson curl route around to the top and then invite possibly into a ball spin. Beeman creates some space, and wow, that is a good-looking shot. From 15 feet on in, he controls that lane. He just almost isos in that, right at that high elbow free throw line extended area. 
Back and forth we go in the first half. Knipple fouled before the drive. Yeah, so, go on Ogello. so hard to keep him in front because he uses that wide body or shoulders and he more importantly just how he stops and goes, bobs and weaves, changes his speed, creates a little space. You saw head coach Terrence Smith from Nicolay, second season, 46 wins, just nine losses. Does a great job adjusting, making game adjustments. No one set way he thinks of how you should win. Zens gives it up to Rindfleisch. And that ball pressure takes you out of rhythm or takes you a little out of rhythm to make a pass. Landrum, like a glove on defense. Again, nice recovery. Young up top, Zens lets it fly, he in and out. Good looking shot. Didn't break down to the pressure and still got a good look. Just couldn't see it fall. Scottson Luther, nice job in getting back because that's a, that's a lot of times a, a bucket for Nicolet getting back in transition. And you told me during a timeout, a chaotic pace is what Nicolet prefers. Yes, they do. They want it a, a notch higher than most people would even want to think about doing. Nice. Nice job by Hanny. Does such a well. Nice job of using his body, controlling his controlling his body and his balance. That ball kicked, and a timeout on the floor. Nicolay has a two-point lead. Check out the last drive here from Hannah. Off two feet. Looks nice. A message from your local station. This is your WIAA network station. Welcome back to Madison. The team's trading buckets, trading the lead. These are two squads that can fill it up, as we've mentioned, shoot pretty well for the season. And we take a look at the shooting numbers for the season and so far today. Both taking their punches, giving punches, taking punches. Coaches have got to be pretty well pleased because early in the game, a lot of times you're feeling each other out. These, te these teams don't feel each other out. They're just coming out, rocking and rolling. I think part of the message in the locker room pregame was, hey, we are going to trade punches. This is going to be a close game. This is going to be a mentally and physically exhausting game. You know, we just got to en endure. Again, you can see that with the ball pressure, but also handling the ball pressure. And before the shot, we've got a turnover. Again, put good post entry, good handling the pressure. Just shuffled the feet. Ryan Walls looking on. 16th season with the Vikings. He's a Wisconsin Lutheran grad. Reached 300 career wins this season. Done a fabulous job. Incredible program over the years, including with his dad. And his dad watches just about every game. That's Dale. Big family. The Walls family. Little 1-3-1 one, one set. Bring Knepo off a ball screen. And so tight coverage. Couldn't even get off his, his usual DNA step back he's so good at. And it's great defense, but there's not a lot of following. Yes, correct. Tough shot. Challenged well without the foul. Beeman on the run. Now he steps back. And we'll stay at this end. Actually, a very good read, even though he didn't make it. He paused, changed speeds, played off two feet, made a good decision. Didn't rush it. And as you mentioned earlier, so quick. Stop on a dime. Have that open, open look. From the corner, Bolden in and out. And Knipple, uh, this might go on Hannah. Let me see. That's on Knipple. Well executed out of bounds. A little stagger for Bolden to the corner. Just the second team foul on Wisconsin Lutheran. McKay back in for Nicolay. Little box set, try to keep Hannah isolated. Good gap help, good jab and recover. Again, Khan isn't afraid to guard the best scorer on the other team. He's done it all year. As you look, good spacing for, like the patience of Nicolay though. They don't get anything on the transition. They're making good execution in their half court level. Something Coach Smith said they don't, they don't get appreciated enough, that they do a good job at the half court level. Teams can play at multiple speeds. 
Davis. <laughs> Good looking shot. You heard the snap of the net on that one. And Nicolay has opened up a five point advantage. Confident young man. Got a little bounce in his step playing that point guard position. The nipple inside the Zens. Nice find. He's such a good passer. And he's 6'5. He can look over a lot of pressures, a lot of types of length. Hannah attacking the other end. Going to the line for two. Got deep enough where the defense couldn't quite square up in town. The 2024 WIA Basketball Championships are brought to you by Delta Dental of Wisconsin, helping protect the oral and vision health of Wisconsinites through dental and vision benefits and our unwavering commitment to communities. Learn more at DeltaDentalWI.com. And we saw a little bit of Hannah there developing a more of a three-level score. We've seen the three ball. We've seen the post up. Saw the drive out of transition. Still only a junior. And I believe he's like 30th or 32nd. I don't know how they come with rankings, but in the country as a junior total class, which is remarkable. Yeah, he's drawn interest from the Badgers, Marquette, Michigan State. Coach told me he really worked on his jump shot last offseason. And he's powered by purple Skittles. Has to have his Skittles before tip-off like, every game. I like, I like the choice. I like the choice of champion. I used to eat Skittles every day in middle school. And then, I don't know, just we, one day the flip switch. We like switch flip, excuse me. We were we we like Marshall Lynch, you know, getting ready for that big day. <laughs> I was asking, I had one teacher that always gave me Skittles and went to the well maybe too many times, and all of a sudden I just, I, I haven't had Skittles in years. But I'm glad that Hannah enjoys them. <laughs> I'm more of a peanut butter cup guy. <laughs> a little cross screen action, another one, two, two. Into a back screen lab. Good cover up. Nice job by Rinfleisch to deny. Hannah, though. Oh. Still drawing a foul, and he's going to go shoot two. But got the presence of mind and not rushing it. Was covered well defensively. Gathered himself. Kind of looked at what the defense offered, and went strong to the rim. Hannah, 73% at the free throw line. Look at his numbers. Got a nice stroke. The hands are well formed. Good connection. Free throws are not easy when you sit up there by yourself. It's like putting from 12 to 15 feet when you need that putt to get the par. Shooting against the opposing student section as well right now. One of two. But the lead has grown to six. Again, they're constant. And they haven't given up many backdoor cuts. Very, how can I say, very control pressure for them. They're keeping them in front. They're not allowing gaps. Green sets the screen. Nice help and recover by Bolden. Now Knipple drives, stops, and pops. Such a high release. It was a nice stop and pop, like you said, Nick. But a high release allowed him just to shoot over a longer-armed athlete. Knipple now with eight points to lead Wisconsin Lutheran. Then spreading in. They'll probably, they'll probably, they try to do a little ISO action, maybe a sprint ball screen occasionally. Not necessarily a delay. They're seeing what action they can get on who might be the mismatch. I'm impressed with the poise and the patience. Yep. That tells you they're well coached because they're willing to adjust to what the situation is. Nothing uncommon to have Hannah at the ball or with the top. This is a team that does yoga every Saturday. I like it. I like it. Probably go for about two minutes and I pull a muscle. <laughs> Coach said the guys didn't like it at all at first, and then they started realizing, oh, we see the benefits of the breathing and, and the poise. Now they wouldn't go without it. <laughs> Again, running the Princeton series, you got Green coming up, isolating. Nipple, spins, dishes, Zen's wide open three. Beautiful looking pass, beautiful looking catch, beautiful looking shot. Zen's is the, probably the second best shooter on the team. Good to see him hit, scratch the clock there, scratch the scoring book. They need him. He's been playing really well the last six games. First three of the day for Wisconsin Lutheran. Bolden answers. Bolden can be a starter. Came off the bench. He's been like a microwave. Green going hard. Hannah clears. 
inside of two minutes to go. Stick around for our Jones Dairy Farm halftime report. Carly Murata going to have a conversation with Jerry Pettigrew. Again, Coach Smith trusting his guys to make good decisions, get a little ISO action. Offensive foul. And again, that's something that Green is noted for, taking charges, doing the gritty. Great first half. We're going to step aside for just a moment. A message from your local station. This is your WIAA network station. Welcome back to Madison. Final 69 seconds in the opening half. Hey, don't be a shy. Come on. This is a big stage. It's been a great first half. Both these teams shooting well, sharing the basketball well. We're going to take a look at some assist numbers so far in this game today. Again, uh, Nick Lay, though, is very trusted. Like you said, Nick, they're being, they're being patient. They're almost forced to be patient, and they're being very effective in a game that they're not always used to doing, and they're doing a great job at it. Great ball pressure. Get in your drill defense. That's Beeman. It's Rin Fleisch, tough catch, and finish, and a foul. In. Did a great fundamental move. Guy denied him on the pass in. No matter what offense you run, you back cut. Good find. That was a tight window. Yes, correct. I, I mean, as good as the back cut in the pass was, it had to be a great pass because the defender's hands were right there. Bolden has two fouls for Nicolay. Mellock has two for Wisconsin Luther. And that's the only foul trouble here as we near the end of the first half. And we got a game. We got two, you know, heavyweights, super heavyweights going at it. Punching, punching, delivering punches, taking punches. A lot of the 1-4 matchups this week at State have been heavyweight fights. Impatient with their five out into ball screens. See where they can get, a dis can get an advantage. Play for one here. I'd be surprised with Nicolay to do such a thing, but... The way they've been, you know, patient so far, it's worked for them. Well, if they let really any more time go off, this is going to turn into a one possession. A little action with Hannah coming to the top. Or Davis taking it one on one. Beeman has it. Six seconds to go. To drive the middle. No foul, nothing. And now a travel with 2.4 left. Wisconsin Lutheran answered it. They knew he likes the lane. He's better off the off the bounce. Fenner did a great job squaring up. Coach Walls wants this ball inbounded in front of the bench, not on the baseline. Got a chance to dribble maybe twice. Half court heave to Knipple. Turn and shoot. It goes. A little bit of Duke Lake. <laughs> the Blue Devils, I'm sure, are watching. <laughs> little Christian Leitner like. That's worth another look. What an end but the to a great first half. But the coaching was there. He said, I got to get it up. He posted at the free throw at the half court line. That's what Khan did. He posted at the half court line like he was receiving a post pass. And then did what he does. Doesn't lose his pulse. Coach Walls all smiles as he walks over to our Brad Hansen. All right. Nick, thank you very much, Coach. That's uh, can't think of a better way to end the half. What do you think of that? Yeah, well, we'll take it. <laughs> it's been a struggle all half to put the ball in the basket. I mean, they're just so good defensively and athletic. And so for us to get that basket, that's a good charge going into the second half. And hopefully we can get a couple more to fall. What do you like about your team's defensive effort? They have equally been pretty impressive. Yeah, we've done a nice job of keeping them out of transition, and that's really the key is, uh, you know, they're so hard to keep out of transition and then out of the lane. Um, second chance points, can't let those up. They've hit some nice shots, some, some tough shots, and, you know, hopefully in the second half, uh, you know, we can equal that uh, intensity of the first half. All right, Coach, thank you very much. Good luck in the second half to you. Nick, we'll send it back to you. All right, thanks, Brad. It was a 6-0 run for Wisconsin Lutheran over the last minute of the game, or the first half, to uh, give the Vikings the lead. Jones Dairy Farm Halftime Report. On the other side of this timeout, a message now from our statewide sponsors. This is your WIAA Network Station.
great go game going on right now in the Division II State Semifinal. For more, as we preview the second half, we send it back down to Nick and John. All right, thank you so much, Carly. Nicolet led most of the half, but a nice finish from Wisconsin Lutheran to grab the lead. We all saw the buzzer beater. It's been a it's been a battle, just like we thought. A lot of great punches by both teams, but you saw the low pulse, low heartbeat of Wisconsin Lutheran. They just answered the call, answered the bell when they needed. Let's take a look at our first half highlights, how we got to our 29-26 score. And turnovers favoring Wisconsin Lutheran, at least the points off of. Got 10 off them. That was surprising to me. Hannah, the step back, and create his own shot. Becoming better at a three-level score. Beeman can do it as well. Loves that downhill drive, pull-up jumper and 15 feet in. So Knipple, of course, We'll show him in a minute, but he can also dish it. He's such a good pass. Sees over the defense so well. Like to see Zens touch the ball a little more. This is a nice take and finish from Bolden. He's been like mini, you know, a mini microwave coming in, adding scoring right away. And then the poise and the finish from Knippel, Mr. Basketball. We saw another Mr. Basketball hit that a few years ago, kind of like that off the side. A guy named Decker, I think. <laughs> Nobody knows him. <laughs> Uh, I look at our first half numbers here quickly. This, the points off turn really caught me off surprise because they've limited the turns and the pace, but Wisconsin Lutheran made them pay when they did. And our leading scorers, Knipple leading the way, and Hannah, kind of the two guys we thought. Good balance by both teams, and again, both teams are playing aggressive, strong, not holding anything back. It's just which one can answer the bell at the right time. Second half, right after this timeout. We're going to hear from our statewide sponsors. This is your WIAA Network Station. Welcome back to Madison. Just about ready for the second half. Nicolay down by three. Head coach Terrence Smith with our Brad Hansen. All right, Nick, thank you very much. Coach, other than that wild three at the end of the half, very even first half, what do you like about your team's effort that you saw out there in the first half? I love our team effort. Like we got to, we got to play a little bit better defense and stop getting posted up in the inside. But then fix our offense. I mean, otherwise, I think we're okay. And as you head into the second half, you know, Knipple is obviously the, the focus. How do you limit the damage that he can do? Honestly, he's not the focus. It's the other guys. We just got to just maintain the other guys. That's it. He's going to do what he's do. He's a good kid. He's great. We're not, he's not our focus. All right, Coach. Thank you very much. Good luck to you in the second half. Thank you. Nick, we'll send it back to you. All right. Thanks, Brad. That strategy is not uncommon. You, you just don't let the other ones go off. You're, he's going to get his. The, and that coach's philosophy has been used well by many coaches. And you don't let somebody else go off while he goes off. That's Hannah with the first shot of the second half. Knipple averages 26 a game. Rinfleisch about 14. Then it drops off a little bit. The dangerous of Khan is he's such a good passer. He makes everybody else better around him, and they all trust each other. Yeah, to your point, 142 assists so far. That is about twice above the other next highest player on the I team. I so. believe he's got a three to one assist to turnover ratio, which is incredible. Again, little Princeton series, back cut, back screen, then a little back screen coming back to the top. Good spacing, they do such a nice job of isolating down the lane line. Battle for it down low, bodies hit the deck. Love the 50-50 action by both teams. That's what might decide this game today. I, I just like how both teams are just getting after it. One play leads to the next, some doesn't go right. Next play mentality. And we're gonna go with Nicolay after a Brief discussion. Again, five out spacing. Try to bring maybe a high ball screen occasion, but again, see where they can ISO. See where they may get a disadvantage. They were, they were so patient in the first half. Not going to change that plan here in the second half. That's an offensive foul on Beeman. Again, Wisconsin Lutheran doing such a good job of keeping their body in front, staying square. Tough call, but again, Wisconsin Lutheran's been very good at closing the gaps. So Beeman picks up his second. He joins Bolden and Hannah. In man-to-man. -man. 
Yep. My apologies, yep. Hannah. No fouls so far. Oh, Jello has two. In a little 2-1-2 two, two set. Try to beat him, get him in the post. And that was caused by ball pressure. That Those long arms taking away passing lanes, taking away a little vision, the timing. It's not about getting steals. It's about taking away timing and getting deflections. I would say every team in the state tracks those defensive deflections. A team like Nicolet is, takes a lot of great pride in it. Little handoff series with a double curl. Again, a lot of active hands. That's where that gap helped. That's another way of doing it defensively. Pass ahead to Red Flash. He flushes it. Get up, big fella. Bring a little electricity to the building. Wisconsin Lutheran by five after trailing by five in the first half. Again, see if Nicolet can answer the bell they have in the past. Wisconsin Lutheran answered their bell earlier on. Little Iverson cut across top into a ball screen action. Hannah. No call. Loose in the corner. Hannah gets Good it hustle. back. Good hustle. Beeman to the corner. Davis. Nice change of pace. Good skip. And now up top for Beeman. Oh. That, that's just that's just being tough nose. Hannah started out. Might have could have got a call. Didn't get it. Didn't put his head down. Kicked it out. Big offensive rebound. Little up screen series. Try to isolate. Back screen and come back with a handoff. Oh, hands all over the plate. Too tight a window to fit in. We're going to get a jump ball. We'll stay at this end of the floor. Moments ago. Again, their transition's different, Nicolay. But again, they see over the top. Their twos and threes get out so quick. Little double pick to the corner. Watch the slip on the screen here. Active hands, like you mentioned. Your hands outside the body, not in your pockets. Making it very difficult to get a clean, even if you do get a look, you catch it out of rhythm. Little squeeze pick to the top. This feels like a college game at moments. I tell you, Bolden's a strong young man, but he's taking a lot of, a lot of chest bumps right there by Khan. Like the gathering of the defense, but also like the patience of the offense. Might go back to the same thing that they just scored upon. Same action. Yep, Iverson over the top. Bring it into a ball screen. See what they isolate down the middle. Little fade screen on the weak side. Hannah directing traffic. Beeman's going to launch for three. Hey, he feels it. He is not noted for his three ball action. He's a nasty defender on the ball. Downhill driver, loves the paint. Two big plays, though, on the perimeter. Made less than 10 threes all regular season. Up for the moment. Again, good option off the back cut. And back and forth we go, trading this lead. We had six lead changes in the first half. Zenz did a nice job measuring up his, his post advantage. Looked over one soldier. Then looked over the other, a little peekaboo finish. In a little Iverson action with the opposite way. Hannah creates his own space. Lost his balance on the shot, created the shot off line. We'll have some substitutions when we come back. Nicolay, three point shooting, big one from Beeman as we head to a break. A message from our statewide sponsors. This is your WIA network station. Welcome back inside the Kohl Center. Nicolay comes into today's game 24-4, and four, but three of those losses came relatively early. They went out east to a tournament in Washington, D.C., lost both games, but learned a lot. And come and create a little cohesion, a little chemistry, but also an awareness of what you got to do to get better. The awareness factor came in and losing a couple tight ones, but coming back, okay, let's lock in. This is what we got to do to get better down the long run. 18-1 and one down the stretch. Big reason why they're here. And giving Wisconsin Lutheran all they can handle in this game. Again, Green does such a nice job making decisions on who's getting the handoff, who's coming off the back pick. Takes a lot of takes a lot of good IQ to do what he does. He, he's out there on an island. 
So Hannah picks up his first. And both nope. teams answering the bell. You got Nick Lay that came out, cut it, got it down by five or six, now back to one. Being Foul. more effective. Foul was given to Bender, number 10. They just changed that. Off of UCLA catch, good cover up. Again, Hannah Garden, Con, Con Garden, Hannah, that's what you got to like. Here comes Knipple, high off the glass and in. Just up, Steve. Gives contact, but he can absorb contact. Shoulders, chin on the rim. Vikings by three. Little X cut to the wings, then into a ball screen. Then good, good gap line defense, not getting in the lane. Good call by the referee. Didn't dig up, dug down, and didn't allow the official to blow the whistle. Second foul on Mellock. Like the lob out to Hannah and isolate and see if there's a duck in. Hannah, tough take. Won't drop, but he'll go to the line for two. The 2024 WIA Basketball Championships are brought to you by the Jones family. Making breakfast, sausage, bacon, ham, and more right here in Wisconsin since 1889. Visit jonesdairyfarm.com. Coach Waltz saying, hey, you got to chest up, got to wall up. Can't get, can't let your hips open up. Once you open up the hips, it's totally the offense's advantage. We're talking about Nicolay's schedule. Hannah had the flu for a game against Cedarburg midseason. They lost that time, but then they came back and beat Cedarburg in the playoffs. And coach saying that first loss or that loss to Cedarburg made the rest of the squad come together. Even losses can provide, you know, valuable takeaways. There's a lot of lot of things you can learn from the loss. You don't dwell upon them, but you take one or two ideas and, and you lock in. You lock in with the small little things that you might not have done that you got to do more consistently. Sometimes we make the game too complicated and it comes down to one or two small fundamentals. Knipple back to work. Good ball pressure, good square up. Eyes, eyes up. He's always got his head up looking. That's, that's good, good, uh, good analysis, Nick, because I tell you, he's looking over the top, his eyes up, like you said. That's why he's able to see things happen before they actually. The Coach Walt said it best. He plays chess while, every, while everybody else plays checkers. That foul on Bolden. Knipple. Just a beautiful turnaround, but he measured up. Didn't go upright, gathered himself, but he was measuring when the time was to pull it. Sized it up. Zenz will be checking in momentarily. Next stoppage. Little shot fake, ball fake. It's way to stay down on defense. This is Ogello. Good hustle by Bolden. And it leads to a second chance for Nicolay. Bolden has it up top. Couple 50-50 balls they've had taken advantage of. See if they do this one. Ojello again. Hannah fighting for that rebound against Khan. We'll see who they get here. Love how those two are going at it. It goes against Knipple. That is his second. Didn't like to isolate Hannah to the corner. Spread it a little bit. Attack from a different angle. Coming off a stagger screen to the corner. Bolden likes to get downhill, but again, the gap help is there. Not much lane, not much room to go. Had that switch, and now Hannah trying to take advantage of it. Knipple the board. Tough shot, hand in the face. Great defensive possession by Wisconsin Luther. In little two-man action with three-man spread on the weak side. Nice hard hedge. Take him out of rhythm. That's Bender, number 10. Oh, he snaked it. Oh. oh. That's what stands out to me about Khan Knipple is he can slither his way through multiple defenders and still have that composure to get a shot off. Big body, and like you said, eyes were up. He saw the seam and took it high off the glass. 
Knipple has scored his team's last six, and the Vikings lead it by five. They've been switching on the ball screens. Hanna in and out. Loose. Ojello has it. And Nicolay hitting the boards pretty strong. Getting second chances. Bolden. Good job by Zen staying down, not going for the head fake. Using that link to his advantage. Green staying down. And we're going to get a timeout from Terrence Smith to talk things over. Coach Smith just seeing there might be a little bit too much stagnation on offense. Want to get him going again. A little more rhythm. Just a little hesitation back. But again, just lowering those shoulders. But as you can see, the eyes were up at all parts of that whole play, that whole possession. Playing chess while others are playing checkers, you said. I tell you, I know I could play checkers really well, but chess, my son would beat me in about three <laughs> steps, three plays. He saw the field goal shooting this half efficient for Wisconsin Lutheran, which is the story of their season. I mean, they shoot about 56% from the floor, score 81 points a game. And the assist numbers are high. They love to share the basketball. They're, they, they are connected not only on defense, but on offense, but they trust each other. But at the same time, Nicolay is very patient, trying to find their trying to find their rhythm, and they're still right there. Nicolay just two of nine right now in, the, in this half shooting. The coach wants to get him going, get him a little more rhythm, a little more movement, create a little more havoc on one end to go to another end. Nice move. Bolden hits the deck hard. Bolden strong to the rim. Nice little head fake, little hesitation. He is the coach on the court for the Knights. Honorable mention all conference. A junior that plays like a senior or maybe even above a senior. He's, he's started many games. He's come off the bench many games. So it takes a pretty good attitude to do that. Shoots 73%. From the line. Might see a little full court pressure now since after the timeout. A little more heat if he can make that free throw. That'll come after a timeout on the floor. A message from your local station. This is your WIAA network station. Nick and John with you from the Cole Center. Wisconsin Lutheran leading 39-35. You know, Nicolay just called that timeout. Do you think Coach Smith is going to change up his defense? I, he's not afraid to. He's, he adjusts as the game goes. I believe you're going to see a little 1-2-2 two, two, because they like that beaming at the top. It's a 1-2-2. Two, two, not always a trap, but to make him make lollipop passes so he can take away the get the deflection across the top. You saw a little 1-2-2 two, two, three-quarter, but they're back in their man. They're trying to create a little offense from their defense, which they're so good at. A little fade screen off the pinch, off the Princeton series. Knipple gets position, finishes through traffic. That is classic 101 fundamental off two feet finish action. Shot fake, ball fake, jab step, off two feet jump stop, half rondo, up and under. Can you put that all in one book for a fundamental book? <laughs> <laughs> if anyone knows, you do. <laughs> he, but the thing is, he did it at such a calmness. Nothing sped him up. Knipple going for his 20th point in and out. Again, this is where Coach Smith wants a little more move, more rhythm, more pace. But again, tough against this defense. Real X action into a ball screen. Nice turn down, but again, good defense by Green. Malik doing a nice job keeping Bolden in front. Switch on ball screens most of the time tonight. Bolden kicks out. Ojello, another three. Hasn't hit that yet. He's a solid three-point shooter. He's a nice find. Just couldn't find the bottom. And did everything but go in. Bolden. Gets his fourth foul. That's a tough one because he's played so well today. But I, but I like the young man come in. He's got a lot of energy and a lot of confidence. Take another look here. Again, just the ability to make things happen, cover up well. But again, come back. Nicolay in there, one, two, two. Knipple on the move, lays it in. Got to 
Nice strong, stopped and started, started again. Chin on the rim. They've answered that bell, that 1-2-2 two, two pressure. And remember, Wisconsin Lutheran had that 6-0 run to close the first half. Building on that here in the second, they now lead by eight. And they're doing such a good job of closing the gaps. It's almost they're playing from 20, 21 feet in and packing it in. Step back, Davis. Building their fort, not letting them inside the arc or inside the paint. Again, could see Knippel going down and posting up. Off a of back screen, in back into a handoff ball screen. Oh, nice find with the hook pass. Rin flies off the glass for two more, and the lead grows to 10. Great example of playing chess over checkers. And he could just sense Rin flesh basically slipping the ball screen. And Nicolay forced to call a full timeout. Down by 10 with eight minutes to go. A message from our statewide sponsors. This is your WIAA Network Station. Welcome back to Madison. Tom Knippel will be presented the Mr. Basketball Award at halftime of the next game. He's at 21 points right now, very efficient. In the second half especially, he's made five of his seven shots. Just going back, they're so precision-oriented. They make it look so simple, but it's cutting. And it's all five guys on a string on both offense and defense. Nicolay, maybe the urgency picking up a little, down 10. That's going to help. Nice Hannah. power move. Uh, Out-of-bounds plays. They like to get Hannah isolated. Just a quick James Worthy-esque type roll. Drop step. And that might be the key to the comeback for Nicolay. Go right at Knippel, who now has three fouls. Again, you can see the pressure ramp it up a little bit. Maybe straight man-to-man -man now instead of the one-two-two. -two. Yeah, they tried it three times, I think. Mm -hmm. Just like you said, Nick, he sees over the top of that type of stuff. So the man-to-man -man might take away a little vision. Little Stockton, upscreen down there, and three oh. It's Beeman, look out! That's what he does, he jumps passing lanes well. He really likes to dog it on off defense. And he almost had another steal. This 10-point lead yeah, is now cut this, in is half. The, this is the havoc type pace they want. Good call. And Nicolay, all of a sudden, the Cole Center coming to life. Again, um, jumping the passing lanes is what Nicolay is noted for. You saw that intensity. All of a sudden, it ramped up, that frenzy. Coach Waltz did a great job of seeing that because that's what they live off of. They want to see that frenzy. Five points in a flash for the Knights. Playing with a flurry. Again, with that intensity on the ball. You talked about that heartbeat and how both teams have been able to handle the emotions so well. How important is that going to be down the stretch? Is it kind of whoever gets caught in... Uh, I think Nicolay's heartbeat wants yeah. that race, that frenzy. You know, like, boom, 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 boom. But Wisconsin Lutheran, hey, we got this. That, that, that low beat, that low pulse, they're so good at and they've done it. Other than that little frenzy right there, that's that's the type of thing that Nicolay wants to do in, in flurries and punches. See how they act back, how they respond. Nose to nose D. Ready. Again, denying at the elbow, making it tough on Green. Everything's a challenge. Green. Green. Green and Landrum battling down low. Again, a little isolation at the elbow, possibly. That's going to be a five-second call. Again, they just answered the bell. They've intensified the ball pressure, but with a little bit more purpose, especially with their hands outside the body, being really active. Again, Coach Waltz talked about what Coach Smith does. They have This is a team that has athleticism and length, and they have not seen that combination. It's the first time they've seen the both at the same time. Little cross screen action into a stagger. Block to block. Old school action, but it's very effective. Trying to capitalize on some more points off turnovers. That's been in favor of Wisconsin Lutheran. And 
Hanna has four fingers up. They know they're going to go, like you said, Nick, they're going to go at him now. Are you taking Khan out of this game? You're probably taking Khan off Hanna. You don't want him guarding him. As you see, he's not guarding him now. Because he's their, he's their pulse. He keeps him even keeled. Hanna back to work. Rin flies, got a hand on it. Might have got away with one, but he did chest up for the most part. Ah! He even answers again. Who says he can't shoot three? Two-point game and a steal. Here comes Landrum. Beeman. Ojello. Good smart move, but a solid off. Solid clear off the bench. Didn't rush it. I think if he hit one of his previous tries, though, he would have let that Correct. go. Hannah, oh, reverse layup is good, and just like that, we are tied. Little worthy move of the past. Again, the game has changed just with that little frenzy, little havoc on the ball. But still disciplined enough and not allowing him to have gaps. Knipple, four fouls, got to be careful. Just a little nudge with that shoulder, that big shoulder, creating a little space. Measures people up so well in the post. We got a game. We sure do. <laughs> Again, I am impressed with Nicholas because they've had to adjust. They've adjusted well. And and little little two-man action, but Beeman likes to get downhill, especially from the right from the center of the lane. See if they try to switch and Again, go David. right at Knipple. Oh, good ball, but again, he's coming downhill if he can. Beeman turns the corner, high oh. off the glass and in. Make me look good, fella. Downhill, strong, chin on the rim. It's been Beeman and Hannah for Nicolay. Nose on the ground defense, hands outside the body. The temperature is just rising up. But then you got Mr. Calm over there. Nice find. And it's Zen's laying it in off the pass. Cool and collective, but at the same time, Zen's has such a good chemistry with his teammate. In that little iso. Oh, we'll stay at this end. <laughs> but again, they're going right at it. Some Coach Smith is very good at seeing and his team seeing where possibly is the advantage. And they know Knipple has four fouls. The 2024 WIA Basketball Championships are brought to you by Rural Mutual Insurance Company. Premiums paid here stay here to keep Wisconsin strong. A proud sponsor of the WIAA Rural Mutual Sportsmanship Award for over 50 years. Little bully ball. Offensive foul on Hannah. Solid call. Again, you can't you you don't always have to be square anymore. You gotta you can't let the offensive lower you can't lower the shoulder with that intent. Just a second on Hannah. Remember Knipple has four fouls. Rinfleish. Rinfleish really stepping it up. And just uses his body to see, protect the ball. Absorb contact and dictate with contact. That foul goes on Landrum. That'll be his first. In the bonus. Knipple is the guy you want at the line for Wisconsin Lutheran. 85% free throw shooter. We've documented his scoring. Touched everybody. Touched every part of the rim there. He's gotten some friendly rolls. <laughs> But t I tell you what, when you put in the work to be Mr. Basketball, you're entitled to a few roles. Oh, that one wasn't so well. See how, again, what they do to attack, but they've been running a little one for high sprint ball screen action or isolating and in the post. Oh! Bolden, too strong. Not, not afraid. Again, Davis, a very good ball defender. Oh, active hands. Beeman. He's gonna go straight in. Five ball turnovers. Just a killer. Beeman, the leading scorer for Nicolay today. And he's the best at it. Dogging the ball, getting down court. 
They switch out. Nice dish. Green able to finish. As good as Khan was finding moves, is just as good with Green realizing where he, where he was going to be, where Khan was going to find him. Davis. Again, Davis just a sophomore, but no fear in those eyes. Going to retie his shoe here before he shoots some free throws. Yeah. Spent a lot of time in the weight room during the offseason. Coach says he can't be pushed around anymore. He's got a, he's just got that bounce. He's got that flair. You know, there's a there's a line between confidence and ego, and he's got confidence. He's positive. Brings energy to the brings energy to the court. Good looking free throw. He'll have one more. Melloc back in for the Vikings. Replacing Young. Could see Melick really doing a nice, he does a nice job back cutting, reading pressures. Something that might be badly needed against this, this ball pressure. Active hands. McKay back in for Bolden for Nicolay. Second free throw coming for Davis. Just a sophomore. Bringing the heat a little bit stronger. But again, not many fouls, considering how much heat they're bringing. The points off turnovers has really tightened up. Wisconsin Lutheran still leading that category with 13, but Nicolay now has 10 points off turnovers. Dramatically changed. Again, riding them, keeping them in front, using that length. Sends looking for help. Green. Well, well done by Landrum. That long arms. Rin Fleisch. Oh, a beautiful shot fake pull up floater just didn't happen to fall. Solid fundamental just couldn't make it happen in the end. Nicolay has a chance to recapture the lead. A lot of perseverance on both teams here, taking punches, delivering punches. True championship DNA. There's that ISO in the post, they've been going at it. Coach Smith senses. Landrum gonna let it fly from the deep. He's a streaky shooter, but he's not fearful. He's had a lot of big ones over the season. Nicolay back in front. Two minutes to play. Knipple, that's gonna be a jump ball. And we're headed the other way. First time I've seen help come over on the spin move. Great idea. Nicolay has the lead thanks to a three-pointer. A message from your local station now. This is your WIAA Network Station. Welcome back to Madison. Exciting finish in store. Nicolay just took the lead back on the Landrum three. He has two buckets today, both three-pointers. Again, this is what it's all about. Little, little sizzle in the building. Got a full house. Got two solid teams to say the least. They're great teams. They're just going toe to toe. Love how each team responds when they fall behind by two or three possessions. Take a look at your screen. They say basketball is a game of runs. Nicolay on a 19 7 run right now. Again, that frenzy, just that little up tempo pitch on the defense end, creating offense. But also being very surgical and finding Hannah in the post as well as Beeman hitting some big outside shots. I might be the only nervous person in the building right now. The fans don't look nervous. The players don't. It's a two-point game. Trip to the championship game on the line here. Again, they've done a nice job, Nick Ray and Coach Smith's team, about balancing the floor, taking what's given. Forced very few shots. Nice by Melek. Another five-second call. Again, Melek is, like I said earlier in the game, very crafty athlete. Did a nice job just keeping him in front. Staying that six foot of diff, uh, difference. Again, little signal of getting a high, low, possibly action. Demon's so strong. But so is Khan. Nice isolation in the post. Play off the Laker cut now. Knipple creates some space. Oh, it's so pretty. Bottom line is he sized up which way he could go. Little bump, little nudge. Create a little space. None but two. Tie game. One minute to go. 
This is what you envision when you got two heavyweights going at it. Davis. Landrum just hit the big three. You could see Coach Smith maybe taking a timeout if he doesn't sense what he likes. He had to regroup. Had his hands up halfway. Oh, yeah. say no. oh, oh, it's blocked. Canepo. And now a chance for the Vikings to take the lead. Nice flash by Green. Coach is going to let play on. Nope. Timeout, Wisconsin Lutheran. 29 and a half seconds to go. Knipple doing it all. Was there a Giannis or a LeBron in the building? We talk about his offense, but what about that defensive play? Mr. Basketball <laughs> is in the building. Again, like nothing happened. Give me the ball. Let's go. So much poise from that young man. You know, got a great story, right? His mom, Sherry Nordgaard, all-time leading scorer at UW-Green Bay. His uncle, Jeff Nordgaard, <laughs> played with the Bucks overseas. He's one He's, of the greatest defenders in state history. Right, right. All right, let's talk more about Knipple and just the poise at both ends. Here's the scoring from a moment ago. Just the patience, the measuring up, the sizing up. And he's done that a million times in his driveway. Oh, God, he just knows how to read. Here's a chess and checkers. He's playing two steps ahead of the defense. Even though it's good defense, it's better offense. So is he getting the ball here? I would probably bet if I was in Monte Carlo, I could win some money. <laughs> uh, and I know why you're referencing that, because you just were there. Yeah, I was. That one on the slot machine. <laughs> Or my wife, I shouldn't say I'm taking, she was, she was the winner. <laughs> I did look at the Bugatti, though. <laughs> well, in my book, I'm going to win no matter what. Yeah, this has yeah. been an absolute treat to have a courtside seat to. Knipple has the ball now. Again, in the Princeton setup. Action on both sides of the court. The nipple up top, 17 seconds and counting. Get a really good rotation defense because Khan can find somebody open if somebody overhelps. Down to eight seconds. The nipple, here he comes, but he slips. Zenz inside the oh. green for the lead. Did they get the timeout I in time? They, I, they're going to have to take a look. Here you can at the state tournament. And I think that's it. The officials are leaving. Wisconsin Lutheran advances to the Division II championship game on the bucket by Green. What a heads up play by Zenz. Finding his teammates sliding, slipping. Again, good defense. Just happened to be at the right place, right time. You see Hannah leave Green. Again, just the idea of Khan losing the ball, which never happens. But again, the response of his teammates. What a game. What a finish. We will hear from the victorious Knights. Or Vikings, excuse me, on the other side of the break. A message now from your local station. This is your WIA network station. Wisconsin Lutheran wins a thriller over Nicolay, 56-54. Alex Green, four points today, including the game-winning bucket at the buzzer. He is with Brad Hansen. All right, Nick, thank you very much. Kanye had 26 points. When it mattered the most, though, it was this guy. It was your teammates who came up big. What was it like for them to have your back there? Oh, I mean, it's great. I'm very thankful. I slipped, almost sold it, but Z got it and threw it into Alex, and we got it done. Alex, you're doing battle next to this guy all year long. What is it like playing next to Mr. Basketball and now getting a chance to go get a gold ball with him tomorrow? Uh, I've known Khan for a long time, and he's always been such a great teammate. So I really love playing with him. And I just hope we can get it done tomorrow, finish this thing off. Is that the biggest shot of your career right there? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> well, congratulations, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Coach, at at the end of the day, you needed all five players on the court. How yeah. proud are you of this team and the effort they gave today? Uh, that was a tremendous game. I mean, for both teams. And uh, I, I hope Nicolet holds their heads high because that was just a tremendous effort on their part. But at the end of the day, the ball bounced in the right direction. We picked it up. We threw it inside for the layup, and the guy was right on time. So 
man, he, we didn't draw it up that way, but that's how it happens sometimes. And great job by our guys of, you know, not falling apart at the end when Nicolet took the lead back and just staying with the course. Go work on some breathing exercises, maybe bring your blood pressure down a little bit. Uh, I think I'm good. I, I'm okay. just excited. What a great opportunity God has given us here, and we're just, you know, we're just so pleased to be able to play in the championship game. All right, Coach, congratulations. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, thank you. All right, look at that. They are on their way to play for a gold ball tomorrow. Nick? Thanks, Brad. Composure. We talked about it all game long, and in the end, Wisconsin Lutheran stayed composed, found they, the guy. They had enough poise, but I tell you, a little bounce of luck helps too. Let's take a look back at our second half highlights. So many to choose from. Con Knipple distributing. Yeah, just see, like you said, Nick, many times, he sees over the top, eyes are up, but this is where it changed. Beeman down the hill with creating that frenzy. Outside perimeter game. It was a game of runs. Nicolet had the lead. Wisconsin Lutheran came back. That's green. Remember, he only had two buckets today. Big hit by Landrum. Huge. Back and forth we went. A number of lead changes and ties. This is Knippel along the baseline. Just playing that chess and checkers game. Measuring him up, sizing him up. Knippel one more time. He slipped. We thought maybe he was going to get the last shot. And then Green just the game winner. Just the presence of mind to, send, to slide to the bucket. Not get caught watching the ball. Final numbers. I tell you, it, it, it was a top-notch game. The three-point field. Everything that Nicolay did, it was in that last ten, eight to ten-minute stretch that really allowed him to take the lead. And then it had to have a heck of a defensive play by Knipple to stop him from taking even a more bigger lead. Some individual numbers next. Knipple, Mr. Basketball, he'll be presented that at halftime of the next game. He gets his. Beeman with a great showing. Just a solid team, solid effort by both teams. Hard for watching one team lose. I know that's a cliche, but it was literally a, just a bounce of the ball that determined the, who gets to play tomorrow. And they, both teams are fantastic. That's how the first semifinal in Division II played out. We've got one more to go. We'll get to that in just a few minutes, but right now we're going to go back upstairs to Carly Murata.